stay. Remember to move your body down. Four, three, two, one. One in three children in the United States is either overweight or obese. Unfortunately, these youth are at greater risk of developing heart disease, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes, which was once only seen in adults. These health concerns can have a serious consequences on children's cognitive development and can affect school attendance. Because children spend so much time at school, schools have a unique opportunity to help children become more healthy and active. This is why Organizations like Partnership for Health and school officials are teaming up to build a brighter future for our children. You've heard it said, when you move, you learn better. Physical activity is critical towards supporting one's health and improving academic achievement. More and more school districts are taking this message to heart by implementing short physical activity breaks into the classroom. This strategy helps students stay focused, achieve more, while supporting health and wellness. Through the efforts created by Partnership for Health and funding provided by the Statewide Health Improvement Program, area teachers are learning how to integrate physical activity into their classroom schedules. Learn how Dilworth Glendon Felton Schools is implementing the active classroom concept. I would say the most powerful piece was that we need to be doing this, that it's not an add-on, it's not something if we have time to do it, but really the importance that we need to do it every day. Our kids in the world we're living in right now are not physically active. They are, you know, dealing with a lot of different issues and they need to do it and we need to provide that for them. Partnership for Health often serves as a conduit to connect their partners with resources that can help them strengthen their role in supporting wellness. One such opportunity comes through the efforts made by Mary Thyssen Milder of the Minnesota Department of Education and the Minnesota Department of Health. Active classroom workshops are being offered that help teachers learn the skills and confidence to help them naturally integrate short physical activity breaks throughout the day while transitioning in and out of formal classroom instruction. These brief moments of natural movement can be fun for students while helping them achieve more by improving focus and retention on academic material. Well, you know, I do um, lots of physical movement all day long, but I would say the biggest piece was um, creating my own um, channels on the Go Noodles so that everything is in one place and that has just been slick for me to be able to pull up all of my math learning and counting songs and all of this, the music pieces that I do for the movement and having it in one place so I can just have the kids click and they know how to use it and it's been really awesome. Uh, I would say the biggest thing that I see is just a much more calmed, ready to um, sit when we have our calendar times and things. Um, my crew knows they are up and moving a lot, so when it is time to just sit, they, they really do a nice job with it. Mm -hmm. And that that's just part of how we learn every day. Mm -hmm. um, my kids, I, I have a, a little bit larger class than we've had the last few years, so just physical space has been mm -hmm. a little bit of a barrier. Um, mm -hmm. And then teaching those specific strategies, I'm very, very... Um, I believe firmly that we have to teach in the beginning how to move our bodies correctly so that we don't have accidents and things happening where they're bumping and pushing into each other. So just with more kids and the physical space has been a little bit more of a challenge. Make the effort. Um, it is so worth it for kids. It is so worth it for yourself as a teacher. Um, you know, just having that physical break for everybody. You're, you saw kind of a big chunk of it, but, you know, we move all day long and take you know, when we're counting or doing our letter sounds or whatever. So make, make it an effort and, and make sure that if you have questions about it, ask someone because there's lots of people that are knowledgeable on it. It's so worth it for kids. There is a clear link between physical activity and improved learning. So become an advocate for physical activity strategies within schools, such as movement breaks in classrooms, safe routes to school, active recess, and quality physical education standards. Find out more on how organizations like Partnership for Health are helping school districts equip their teaching staff with skills that inspire youth towards healthy lifestyles and high academic achievement.